Welcome to another day with Jesus, a daily morning podcast bringing you the word of life as you wake up to the several possibilities of a new day. May this word stir up your faith and equip you to be victorious. Good morning and greetings in Jesus name. Welcome to this amazing new day. I believe that the Lord wants us to worship him like never before. And every obstacle, every hindrance, every mind block, every challenges, every threat, every wind and the waves that stand in your way that stop you from worshiping, the Lord wants to come in to help you and redeem you and strengthen you and make sure that you're able to worship, that you're able to praise him you're able to adore him in spite of the obstacles in your way let me read this particular scripture from the book of mark chapter 16 this is the woman who are going to worship jesus after the crucifixion not before but after this is the dead body of jesus that they are going to adorn with spices with a beautiful scent with fragrance and they really want to express their love and worship to Jesus in spite of knowing that he is dead let me read mark 16 verse 3 on the way they were asking each other who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb now these ladies they had a desire a genuine desire a heartfelt desire a desire that was spiritual and the desire was to worship jesus and yet there was a stone that was at the entrance of the tomb a stone that kept them away from worshiping jesus a stone that separated them from their desire a stone that separated them from their expression of their love for the lord and so their discussion their question their prayer request their hunger on this early sunday morning is who will take away that obstacle who will roll away that stone it is not possible for us to do it in our own ability You know that these guys they are not praying so that they can be benefited somehow they are not praying so that they'll get a blessing they are not praying because they wanted a better marriage they are not praying because they want a more convenient and a easy and a comfortable future their prayer is how can we worship better how can we worship without this obstacle how can we worship without this sin in my life how can we worship without this hypocrisy how can we worship without all these wind and the waves that are stopping my worship how can we worship without any mind battles without constantly going up and down in my love for the lord so they wanted to make sure that every obstacle for their worship be removed this morning i am inviting you into that same journey will you ask the lord to give you the grace the strength and the ability to discern what are those stones in your life what are those obstacles in your life what are those relationships those people those circumstances those commitments those vows that you've made that is now standing as a hindrance in our worship in our love and our devotion to the lover of our souls what are those things that are standing in the way we cannot expect god to take them away if we do not know what these stones are we cannot expect god to give us a divine breakthrough if we have not identified the real issue or the real problem we cannot expect to spend time discussing with our fellow worshipers who can roll away the stone if we do not know that there is a stone in the first place if we are completely ignorant 
of a stone that is now blocking the entrance of that chamber, of that inner chamber where you need to walk in to worship, where you need to step in to experience intimacy. If you are unaware of that stone, if you are unaware of that door, if you are unaware of that obstacle, then you and I, we will remain unsatisfied in our worship all through our life. This was the problem of Cain. He came to worship God and yet he did not see that there is a closed door. He did not see that there is a hindrance. He did not see that there is a rejection. And after being dissatisfied, he now expresses his anger, his jealousy, his envy upon his brother. Whereas it was not his brother who was responsible for his stone. He should have taken ownership for his own intimacy. He should have taken ownership for his own love and devotion and worship for God. And he should have researched his heart, his lifestyle, his behavior patterns, his giving and receiving to see where it is that I am being an obstacle myself or the people around me are being an obstacle in my relationship and my love for the Lord. May this morning be spent in introspecting and investigating what those stones are because if you know what your stone is, and if you are going to cry out to God saying, who can roll away this stone? I'm releasing an answer from the presence of the Lord. There are angels that are assigned to fight your battles in this season. To roll away every stone that is physically, emotionally, mentally impossible for you to carry impossible for you to roll away. There is angelic help and assistance available for you today. If you will just say yes, if you will address it, if you will pinpoint your stone and if you would ask this question, is there anyone out there who can roll away the stones so that I can enter in and worship God with freedom? I'm releasing those seraphims that will bring you the coal from the altar that will melt away every stone, whether that stone is in your heart or that stone is at your workplace or that is in your home. I declare every stone be rolled away. Father, we thank you for this revelation. This morning, we thank you for the ministry of Seraphims that are helping us to worship Jesus like never before, to serve him like never before, to experience intimacy with God like never before. We receive this grace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We hope you have been blessed listening to the Rhema Word of God. Please contact us at pastorpreeti.com for any queries or help. May the presence of the Lord go before you this day.